back in ETV. Hey guys, thanks for joining us for another Balcony TV Exeter coming from Samuel Jones on the Key. This week we are delighted to have with us Tallulah Rendell. Hey Tallulah. Hey. Hi, very well, thank you. How are you? Very well, yeah. Thanks Good. for joining us this morning. Thank you for inviting me. What are you going to play for us? I'm going to play a song called Pieces, which was the first single from my third album, The Banshee in the Moon. Great, it's all yours. Okay, cool. to be brave but the tears though they're drowning the laugh inside but I fight with wilting strength I fight to believe I can be much more than your words have said so my life all my time yeah. picking up the pieces Great track. Thank you. Wow, lovely, lovely. Thank you. So, um, oh, steady. It's <laughs> all right. I'll edit that out. That'll be fine. So you've um, you've got quite an intense sort of artistic background, don't you? Your mother, I was reading, ran the club that Hendrix played. Yeah. In. Is that right? yeah, tell, yeah. Tell us a bit about that. You know about your upbringing and your musical foundation. So my mum used to run nightclubs in the seventies in Portugal, and then when right. she came back over here, she set up the Black Sheep. And uh, yeah, there's a great story with Jimi Hendrix who basically was completely unheard of at this time and right. he came over to the UK and basically struck this deal that if he could rehearse every day in the club for two weeks then he played for the first two weeks of the club openings for free cool. and the night before the club opened um, Hey Joe went to number one in the charts wow. and so she got this call from the manager being a bit like um, so actually <laughs> things are going to change you know yeah. it needs to be yeah. this amount and yeah. so but actually good on him he was like no 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 I shook my hand I'm mm. going to do it for free so yeah, when Hey Joe yeah. Yeah, was number one, it's playing my mum's club. So, yeah, yeah I kind of grew up with this 
you know, this basement full of amazing old gatefold vinyl and just this kind of sense of possibility, the sense that kind of anything, you know, you, you, you have a vision or you have a kind of creative idea and you can just make it happen. Well, you know, that's kind of carried through with the rest of your work, hasn't it? Because, yeah. I mean, you, you've got some multi-genre stuff going on with your yeah. work, you know, and your, your, your recent album here, just looking through this. Banshee in the Moon. I mean, it's a it's a book. In fact, all your albums have been yeah. in a book gatefold thing. I don't know whether you guys can see this. It's, um, <laughs> sort of uh, through loads of fan uh, fantastic uh, black and white images, and uh, you know the CDs in the front. Yeah. It's just great stuff. I mean, it's the first time I've actually seen anything quite you know self funded, self put together, which, yeah. which is which is a big thing. Look out for the bee. Yeah. And yeah, it's just terrific. I mean, so you um, I mean. You, you, I don't know whether you're in a lot of these photos. Are you? Do you know what was really different with this album was with um, the first two projects that I did. It was very much a case of collaborating with artists and people that I knew and trusted, yeah. but I wanted them to be able to run free. I didn't want to be there kind of going, okay, this is how I want the piece of art to be. And so I did that for the first two albums. And then with this one, I really felt a sense of um, wanting to kind of reclaim that a bit. And because um, I wrote and I played everything on the record, it's just me rather right. than me and the band, which is what right. the other two albums were. Sure. I had a really clear idea of how I wanted the images to be created, I, you know, what the emotion was behind them. and But not just images, you've got films going on as well. I mean, yes. that, that, that particular film, you've got, you've got about 22 short films, not, not with that. Yeah, there's, yeah. yeah, there's just, it's just been a really, it's just kind of grown and grown and grown. Um, but for some, for this one, there, there's something very, very personal about it because I kind of, you know, the, the intention was to create black and white landscape images and for me to be the subject, but not as in like kind of me being like, oh, hi, yeah, it was just, yeah, just yeah, you know, yeah, just yeah. a figure. Sure. Just to embody the kind of message of the song, if yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, um, But But I, th I think it's, it's just about having the motivation, you know, the self-motivation yeah. to actually, because I know what it's like, you know, yeah. drawing, drawing, you know, getting that fire, getting that creative fire to push this sort of stuff forward. So I've been really lucky. I mean, the awesome crowdfunding stuff. has been extraordinary. I mean, yeah. I, I started crowdfunding because when I first had the idea to release albums as books, I kind of plucked up the courage and went to a few labels and it was just like, you know, why would we do this? You're an, un you're an unknown artist, this yeah, sounds yeah, really yeah, expensive. Yeah, yeah. And so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do it. Because for me, it just, it was so, I felt like this is going to work. Yeah. And so I did it and so began crowdfunding and then ended up touring in Japan and all around Australia, New Zealand. And people would sp happily spend 15 quid on an album rather than a tenner on a CD. Absolutely. And so this whole crowdfunding thing just grew and grew and grew. And so now, you know, as an independent artist with no support at all, it's just me. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I've got this kind of really strong crowdfunding fan base or support system who like literally every day are kind of like, what are you doing? Where yeah, are you? Yeah, sure, yeah. Words well, of just, encouragement. It's just nice to hold such a thing that you know contains so much other yeah. information, you know, so much back yeah. background information I think and that's foundation. That's what people of seem to really kind yeah, of, yeah, yeah. you know, they want to know the stories. They want to, you know, you know who you are as an artist. And I think that's such a backlash against this kind of time at the moment where there are so, you know, there have always been so many manufactured artists. Sure, but I think when sure. you've, you know, when you've, you're going to, I'm harking back to that time of the kind of troubadours, you know, the Joni Mitchells and the Nick Drakes yeah, or the, yeah. you know, that kind of ill yeah, of course. way. It's, you're really yeah, like, your heart yeah, is on your yeah, sleeve exactly. and this is yeah. the, this and is and the and story. And you're doing. And it's yeah. the story, yeah, of course. Well, yeah. Well, we could bang on for hours. We I mean, could. you know, we could, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but for now, let's uh, let's find out where people can go to to catch up with your work. And so, tallulahrendell.com. Um, it's T A W L, -L U L A H. Name, oh God! Yeah. It, do you know what's extraordinary? Like it's been my my name my whole life, and the, the L's. It's like the yeah, L's. Yeah, there's you a lot, know, of, L's there's a lot of L's, and so yeah, T A W L U L A H R E N D A W L dot com. You can, you know, that's my main website. Right. You can find me on kind of social media things, but sure. um, but yeah, that's my. Well, name. well worth checking out. I mean, just just to uh, just to you know see what's going on with the, with the books and, and stuff. Thank Absolutely you very wonderful. Much. Well, thank you for inviting me. It's a Thanks, Tallulah. Great to uh, great to meet you. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time on Balcony TV Exeter. Balcony TV. <laughs>